In this talk, we'll dive into Amplified Oversight. The talk was developed by Zachary Kenton, who is the lead of our Amplified Oversight team. As you may remember from the overview, Amplified Oversight works on the question of how do we oversee a single AI output? Let's recall the principle of informed oversight, which is that misalignment can be mitigated if, for every output the AI produces, a human overseer gets complete understanding of the reasons that the AI produced that output. Amplified oversight is one of the pieces for achieving informed oversight. The basic intuition here is that we want to carve off a simpler problem than full informed oversight, and specifically, we're going to allow ourselves to use expensive techniques that are only feasible for overseeing a small number of outputs. This gives us a definition as follows. For a single output, we aim to provide feedback as close as possible to that of a human with complete understanding of the reasons that the AI produced that output. Approaches to amplified oversight typically use the model itself to help improve the human's understanding. That is, the model is amplifying the human's oversight, hence the name. So let's consider a baseline method, reinforcement learning from human feedback, or RLHF. In RLHF, we first train a reward model on human feedback data, and then train our final AI system with reinforcement learning using rewards generated by the trained reward model. Many current frontier LLMs use some variety of RLHF, and for now, that works great. However, we expect that problems will arise in the future as AIs become ever more capable. At some point, it will become too difficult for a human to give accurate feedback to a very capable AI system. For example, maybe the humans won't have the relevant expertise to evaluate the AI's outputs. Once we get to that point, the AIs are likely going to start producing outputs that look good to humans, even though they are not actually good in practice. So based on that problem with RLHF, that it's too hard for the humans to give accurate feedback, one possible solution approach is critiques. In critiques, we basically train a critic model to criticize the original model's responses. We can do this either by training the critic model to mimic human demonstrations of critiques, or using RLHF on human evaluations of the critiques produced by the critic model. Once we have a fully trained critic model, we can then provide it to the humans giving feedback on the original AI system, and this can let the human give better feedback than they otherwise would have given. Even if you are doing critiques, it's quite plausible that more problems arise. So specifically, if the AI systems are sufficiently capable, then maybe the humans won't be able to supervise the critique model either. It can be quite hard to know if a given piece of criticism refutes the central point of the original answer, or maybe there would be a critique of the criticism that would make the original answer look correct again. So the natural solution is to do many rounds of critique, that is, debate. Concretely, we train an AI system via self-play in a zero-sum debate game, and at the end of the debate, a human will judge which of the debaters provided the most true and useful information and provide rewards based on that. So for example, the first debater might claim that the answer to the user's question is A, the opposing debater might say no, the answer is B, and give some reasons for that. And then the first debater responds and says, no, no, that's not true, there are some other reasons, and you know, this debate continues. Eventually, it gets down to something in which a human has an easier time judging and is able to say that the left debater here wins, in which case that left debater gets a reward of plus one and the right debater gets a reward of minus one. So there are some key hopes that are associated with debate. Since we're doing self-play training, the two debaters are copies of the same AI system. So if one AI system argues for something that it knows to be false, then the other AI system should also know that it is false and can then explain why it's false, and that would let them win the debate. That is, it should be possible for the AI system to refute any lies, which enables the human judge to know what the true correct answer is. Another hope is that the debaters are incentivized to identify the cruxes of the arguments. So this will naturally break the harder questions down into easier pieces, and that makes it easier for the human judge to be able to give accurate feedback. So what's left to be done in research on amplified oversight? Actually, quite a lot. One question is how well debate will work in practice with future very powerful AI systems. One approach here is to try and study this with analogies. We don't have very powerful superhuman AI systems right now, but we can use large language models or LLMs as proxies for them. 
So we could have LLMs as debaters and humans or LLMs as judges and try and create some asymmetry between them to make the judges weaker in some way and then study when the LLM debaters can be trained even from that weaker judge. You can look at these two papers for more details. Another open question. Can we find better oversight techniques than debate? For example, with better honesty properties? So a couple of approaches here. One is to do work in theory. Uh, this kind of work looks like basically finding worst case counterexamples and then suggesting new protocols or games to avoid these counterexamples. Here's a couple of references on that. And then a more empirical approach is to experiment with the new protocols, either those suggested by theories or ones that we might think work well in practice, and then just seek out better performance. And this is sort of similar to the approach with analogies uh, that I talked about first. So to summarize this section on amplified oversight, amplified oversight is the area of work which, for a single output, aims to provide feedback as close as possible to that of a human with complete understanding of the reasons that the AI produced the output. Approaches will typically utilize the model itself to help improve the human's understanding, thus amplifying their oversight. Debate is one example of a promising approach since it incentivizes the AI systems to point out flaws to the human judge. Thanks.